as Nomads prepare to get things underway. And they do. All the way back to the defence. Sent long by Holmes down the right channel. Gary Decker's up to win, but he's only nodded it back into the central midfield area. Sent long by Owen. And at least six lingering on the edge of the area. Chris Burke. And Rory McKenzie stand over the ball. McKenzie sends it in. It's towards the back post. Kurt Broadfoot looking to meet it. It's knocking around and then Finley gets his toe to it. Saved in the end. It's around six yards out. The ball just ricocheting around the Nomad's box. Finley did well to get a shot away, but took a deflection, I think, John, that took the sting out of it. And it was an easy save for Brass. It was in the end, yes. He just didn't get enough on it. Finley, unfortunately. And towards El Macrini. He's looked tidy in the opening stages. Home debut for the Dutchman. Signed from... Roda, just a week or so ago. That's a loose pass from Gary Decker, though, and it's picked up by Nomads breaking forward. It's Morris. He's got the run of Wild to the left. He's played him. It's going to come back into the box, and it's going to come, and it's missed, unbelievably missed by Morris, who is six yards out. The goal at his mercy. He's, he's not caught it cleanly, and it's one of those situations where it's easier to score. In, in absolute acres of space in the, in the middle of the 18-yard box. Now it's Taylor. Gives it to McKenzie on the left. He's not had too much involvement so far, Rory. It's a good ball to Alan Power. Now Chris Burke, just over the halfway line. Kelly, very content just to play lots of passes. Now Rory McKenzie bursts forward. He's away from a few. Rory McKenzie in the edge of the box. He's got company. Here's Greg Taylor with a chance on the left foot. Greg Taylor's shot saved. Comes to McKenzie in the rebound. What a save that is. Brass up like a flash to tip that one wide. Really good attacking play from Kelly. McKenzie burst through the middle of the park and set up Taylor. He maybe took a wee bit too long to get his shot away. It was saved by Brass. The rebound fell to McKenzie. His shot was saved. And it was a corner. This corner. That's Rory McKenzie from the fact BT side and swinging with the right foot decent delivery towards Broadfoot who looks to get his head on it he's not made too much contact though it's actually Broadfoot who's coming forward with a bit of intensity here plays it into Brophy's feet lays off to Burke coming in field for Kelly spins away from his man Chris Burke now heading into the box down the right side he's cut it towards the middle of the box and there is El McQueen his <laughs> sorry I need to get my words out here easier to score he was a right, it was Greg Taylor, sorry, not El McCreaney. Kelly still in the attack, it's sent in by Chris Burke. But it fell to Greg Taylor at the back. Long ball in the end towards Wild. A wee bit of afters there between the striker and Kirk Broadfoot. Referee doesn't see anything. And just as we predicted, they've tried to play the killer pass and it's been intercepted. Here comes Dicker. Looking for McKenzie, it's a good first touch to get away. And it's a really good ball in, in between the lines for Chris Burke. He spotted Eamon Brophy at the back post, it's been blocked, but it's back to Burke now on the right. Chris Burke goes for goal. It was a rather rash attempt going it straight into the side netting. Really, really positive attack from Kelly. As we touched on, Rudy McKenzie found space in central midfield. A really good through ball towards Burke. Tried to find Eamon Brophy at the back post. Now wait to Finlay. Craig Taylor. Power with a chance to go forward. He sees that. Plays it in field to... Burke, now McKenzie halfway through the Nomads half, plays it out wide to O'Donnell that's a fantastic touch to get round the defender O'Donnell goes for goal in the near post, it's off the post and then rebounds out the 18 yard box it's back to Power, he's got a chance here to play it wide, plays it to McCreaney Taylor, now McKenzie, back out wide to O'Donnell, who looks to curl it towards the back post, it's saved in the end by Brass now Burke, cutting in field onto his left foot, plays it short to Power Looking for the Ronald O'Donnell, it's found its way to Brophy who tries to pull the trigger. He did in the end, it was a difficult shot, it didn't matter anyway because one of them or both were offside, flocking round the east stand, making life a bit difficult for us here. As Nomads come down the right with pull, Marshall will by McKenzie who slips in the end, Nomads with a chance to put the ball into the box. Here's Morris facing up against Dicker, gets away from his marker, it's a decent ball in and it will be met by the head of Wignall and it's 1-0 to Nomads this is a massive massive disappointment here for Kelly on the far left side O'Donnell is it short to Burke who spins away from his man and tries to keep it in play he's hit the byline Chris Burke this is very good back to O'Donnell who shot from a tight angle 
but it's just zipped over the crossbar by a foot or two. And then Mackenzie Ariel McCreaney trying to win the ball back for Kelly without too much success. In the end, it falls to that's a late, late, late tackle. And it's referees waiting to produce a card here. Is it the goal scorer Wignall? It is. Um, the referee will be going to his pocket. It was a late tackle. Greg Kilty is the one that's stripped, but Nomads are through here. It's Jamie Insel with a chance. He's hit the deck, and it's a penalty to Nomads. And Finlay is sent off. It's a last man challenge. With just over 10 minutes of normal time remaining. Morris rolls it down the middle of the net. And it's 2 0 to Connors Key Nomads in the Europa League qualifier here at Rugby Park. Quite an unbelievable shock on the cards here. Looking for an option, he's played it to Greg Taylor who receives it on the spin, plays in Brophy who's gone down the left channel. Brophy trying to hit the byline, cuts it with his left foot, it's nearly an own goal. The captain Horan slid in there and sent it just wide of the near post, it's a corner to Kelly McKenzie, trots over to take it. Not long to go, Rory McKenzie prepares to deliver. It's a decent delivery towards the middle of the box, Broadfoot rises and it's off the top of the crossbar. That's the second time Kelly have hit the woodwork in this game. Cuck Broadfoot did well to meet the ball. It just looped onto the top of the bar. Get in and tackle. Eamon Brophy's forced to show short and that's a shocker. An absolute shocker of a tackle. And I think it's going to be a second yellow card for the goal, oh, for the goal scorer of the first one. Wignall. It's a very, very poor challenge. Will that make much of a difference? We'll soon see. But Ennis Cameron picks up the pieces, looks to play it out wide to O'Donnell. That's better hold up play from the young striker. Infield to McKenzie who tries to flick it. It's kind of you know, the wrong moment to do that, Rory. Now it's cleared and finds Greg Taylor. Clipped in towards Big Ennis Cameron. It's fallen to Gary Dick on the edge of the box. It's going to come to him and Brophy in the byline who I think just trips up his marker. Insult. And that's it. Full time. Come on at nil, Connors Key Nomads 2, Kelly are out of the Europa League 